in time to rescue me. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Our Lord Jesus is always on time. Whenever we need him, he is there. He is an ever-present help in trouble. Praise God. Greetings everyone. Wonder. Welcome to our teleconference service. God bless you all for joining us. We are here today to give the praise and the glory to God our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, our friend, our brother. He is everything to me. Praise the name of the Lord. He's everything to all of us. First, I want to say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Mothers are very essential parts of our, of God's creation. You know, because we have to think about it was a woman who brought Jesus into this world. Hallelujah. Jesus used a woman to bring us redemption, to bring us salvation. So God bless all the mothers and God bless you for, you know, all the hard work that you have done in order to bring up your children. God bless you. God richly bless you. And um, before I go any further, um, I'm going to ask the Lord to say a short prayer and then we go into the word of God. Hallelujah. As the God lead us. Sister Rosie, lead us in prayer, please, and then we go into the Word of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Our oh, Heavenly Father, give you thanks for another Sunday and for a Mother's Day Sunday as well. And to all the mothers as well, Lord, I pray your grace be upon them. Lord, I even put Sister P.T. who's lost her mom some couple of weeks ago, Lord, and I pray that you be a comforter on this day, Lord. And I pray if she's got children that they will be a comforter to her as well, Lord. Lord, I pray that the words that are going to be coming out of the servant's mouth today, Lord, will be a blessing to each and every one that listens today. Lord, I pray your grace with each and every one of us as I give you thanks and praises for Jesus name. Amen. 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 God bless you sister. God bless you. And um, thank God today we went to the house of God and we had a wonderful time in the house of God. God is good and you know every time I think about Jesus I am my soul is thrilled. My soul is blessed because I know that we serve a great big wonderful God. Praise the name of the Lord. He is so wonderful. He's so great. You know, and I always say this, there's no words that we can use in the English language to fully describe this man, Jesus. We can't find the words, but he's a great God and I love him. And we all love him. We all love him. And those, God bless you who are here tonight. We are here because, for another reason, because we love the Lord. And the Lord loves us. And we must remember also that he loved us first. Because when we were out there in sin, it was him. It was the Lord Jesus who reached out to us. We had no mind of him, but he reached out to us. And he called us. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. And we are blessed despite life and the trials and temptation and the pain and the sorrow um you know the, when we lose our loved ones it's never nice it's never pretty you know but you know it's pain when we lose a loved one but you know god understands god knows he understands the our infirmities he's he's acquainted the bible says he is acquainted with all our infirmities. So we do thank God for his love towards us, his care, and, you know, his keeping care and his mercies and his grace. So uh, God bless you. I want to go straight into the word of God. 
And I just want to read a psalm, a psalm of uh, David, Psalm 34. It is a very popular psalm. And I'm just going to read Psalm 34. It says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble, the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. It says, O magnify the Lord with me, let us exalt his name together. I saw the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked upon him and were lightened and their face was not ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamped around about them that fear him and delivered them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is a man that trusted in him. O oh, fear the Lord, he his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lion lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come ye children, hearken unto me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days that he may see good? Keep your tongues from evil and your lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off their remembrance from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heard and delivered them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and save us such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivered their him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, and not one is broken, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked. And they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servant, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And this is Psalm of David. You know, David was a man who loved God. And because he loved God, God opened his eyes unto who he really is. And he could tell by the experience that he had with God that he knew that this God is my God. This God will be my God. He says, I will bless the Lord at all times. You know, that's a commitment by itself. I will bless the Lord at all times. I mean, in all circumstances, I will bless the Lord. If I'm up or if I'm down, if I'm high or if I'm low, I will bless the Lord. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will continue to praise Him. I will continue to thank Him. I will continue to glorify Him. And when we, exp- when we know who God is, when we know who God is, we can't, we can't help but just saying, Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Yeah, as David said in one psalm, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Now he's saying, I will bless the Lord at all times. Sometimes, my brethren, things is not going the way we want them to go. Sometimes we are depressed, oppressed, and sometimes we are pained in sorrow and distress. And all these things come upon us. But we must remember that Jesus went through a similar things and maybe he went through even worse than what we are going through. But he was obedient. He was obedient to God. Even though he was God, he was obedient. He was obedient unto death. And everything he was, he loved, he was working 
for the father. He was working, he was doing the work, he said, I do the work of my father, which is in heaven. David went on to say, my soul, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. My soul, my innermost being, my heart, my soul, my innermost being will boast in the Lord. I am proud to know this God. I am not ashamed. As Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It's the power of God unto salvation. David said, I am, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. I will boast in the Lord. And the humble shall hear it and be glad. The proud may not be glad, but the humble shall hear my boast in the Lord and they shall be glad. And he went on to say, Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Magnify the Lord with me. Praise the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name. Let us lift him up. Let us glorify him because he was worthy, brethren. He's worthy. What God has done for us, no man could ever do. No one we know, no, no, no man could ever do what God did for us, what Jesus did for us. In that he came down to earth. He was dwelling on high. He was higher, he was the highest of the highest. And he came down to earth to dwell among us. What love. No wonder one songwriter says, such love, such wondrous love, that God should love a sinner such as I. How wonderful is love like this. How marvelous, how awesome is love like this. And when we realize how oh God loves us, brethren, we, 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 we are to show that love. We are to reflect that love that He's showing us. We are to reflect that love. God cannot do, Jesus cannot do nothing more than what He has done for us, to show His love for us. And we need to just reflect that love back to Him in praise and glory. And as, as David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. One thing he says in the psalm, I desire and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. And um, we, we visit Hackney Pentecostal Church in Hackney, beautiful church, wonderful church, Pentecostal Apostolic Church, and it was such a blessing. It was such a blessing there. I mean, when you when we go into the house of the Lord, we are to feel the presence of the Lord there. If we go into the house of the Lord and we do not feel the presence of the Lord, then you know something is wrong. But when we go into the house of the Lord, we must know that the Lord is present and that He will manifest Himself. He will manifest Himself in His house. He will, his glory, when we lift him up and praise his name, his glory will be revealed unto us and we will feel his presence and nothing. That's why David says, you know, in the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy. When we are in the presence of the Lord, it's the fullness of joy. There's no sorrow, there's no pain, there's no doubt, there's no fear in the presence of the Lord. Because in the presence of the Lord, there are fullness of joy. And at His right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Oh, praise the Lord. David said, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt. Let us come on. Let us exalt His name. Let us lift up His name. He's a great God. He's a powerful God. He's a God who cannot lose any battle. He's a God who speaks and it is done. Imagine how great our God is. That he came and he saw the earth. And he see darkness was upon the earth. The Bible said darkness was upon the face of the deep. The whole world was in darkness. And he spoke the word. Just speaking the word. Imagine just speaking the word. And the whole earth, the whole universe was lit up he said let there be light oh praise the name of the lord can you imagine the awesome power of god to just speak the word and the entire world was lit up can you imagine the power of this god 
So when we know we know this God and we have this understanding and we can communicate with God, with this God, what do we need to fear? What do we need to worry? What, 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 what do we need to care worry about? David said, magnify the Lord with me. When, when David felt the presence of God, when the ark of the Lord was taken away from Israel and it was in the hands of the Philistine, and the, the, the ark of the covenant was representing the presence of God in Israel, and once the ark was taken away, it was like the presence of God was taken out of Israel, and no one was, very, no one was happy. No one was happy. Imagine living without the presence of God, without the protection of God. And so when the time came that the Ark of the Covenant came back to Israel, that David was rejoicing. He was, you know, he, he was so happy to know that the presence of the Lord was back in Israel. And once the presence of the Lord is in Israel, all is well. And the Bible says David dance. And we sing, I dance, I dance, I dance like King David dance. And David dance. David was the king of Israel, but he forgot about his kingship and everything. But he danced before the Lord. He danced, he danced, and tell, the Bible says his apron fell down. That is like his, uh, his gown, his pants was falling down, or, you know, his skirt was falling down, whatever they used to wear in those days. And his wife will say, well, what, how, how can you be the king of Israel and conducting yourself like that? Praise the Lord. David said, I will do even more. Hallelujah. But what I'm saying is that when we realize how good God is and how blessed we are, when we're in the presence of God and what God can do for us and what God has done for us, we should be excited. We should be excited to know this God. Magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. He went on to say, I sought the Lord. I sought the Lord. I, I was seeking the Lord. And he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. I sought the Lord. I seek, I seek, I sought, I sought the Lord. I cried unto the Lord. And he heard me and delivered me from all all my fears. Just imagine being delivered from all your fears, whatever, whatever our fears may be. Just imagine being delivered from all your fears. Just imagine being delivered from all my fears. That means fearless. Just imagine a fearless life. Because I was listening to something that someone sent me on the WhatsApp and said that um, the devil used the fear to overcome God's people. And if we can live a life without fear, the devil can't harm us. If we can live a fearless life, and we can, because David is saying he sought the Lord, and the Lord heard him and delivered him from all his fears. If we can live a fearless life, we know we, 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 the devil can't harm us. No matter what the forces of hell, the demons, principalities and powers, spiritual wickedness in high places cannot harm us when we sought the Lord. He will hear us and deliver us from all our fears. For verse 5 said, They looked upon him and were lightened. Their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles now the, this man cried he saw the Lord the Lord delivered him out of all his fears this poor man cried and the Lord saved him out of all his troubles in my life I've seen many 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 troubles and I don't know how many, but I've seen a lot of troubles. And some, some of us here have seen many troubles, but I've seen a lot of troubles. A lot of troubles. But I can say that the Lord saved me out of 
all my troubles. So it's not just a Psalmist David saying this, but from my experience, God is able to deliver us from all our fears. He's able to deliver us from all our troubles. Oh, wonderful. And that's even more reason why we said, I will praise, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Praise the Lord. Then he went on to say, The angel of the Lord encampeth around them that fear him and delivereth them. When we fear the Lord, the fear of God is showing reverence to God. It's not as being fearful of fear. It's a showing reverence to God. As a father, as a child should reverence his father. As a child should reverence his mother. So we should reverence our God. And that's all God asks us to do. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about. How is that? Round about. Round about. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and deliver them. The angel of the Lord will encamp around you and deliver you. Nothing that the devil throw at us. The, word, the Bible says, no weapon, no weapon that form against a child of God shall prosper. And the angel of the Lord will encamp around about every child of God who feareth him. And deliver them, deliver them. How great it is. I mean, when we think about how God loves us and how God cares for us and how God will protect us. And how God would deliver us. And God, how God would save us. How wonderful it is. Can't, we, have, we, 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 we have to praise him. We have to praise him. Uh, Psalm in verse 8 it says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is a man that trusted in him. Taste and see. They say the, the, the proof of the cake is in the, is in the taste. So it says, taste and see. If you haven't tasted yet, taste and see, man. Taste and see. The Lord is good. Taste and see. Have a taste. Don't take my word for it. Don't take David's word for it. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Automatically, when we trust in the Lord, we are blessed automatically. When we anchor our trust and hope in God, we are automatically blessed. Blessed is the man who trusted in him. The one Psalm said, some trust in horses and some in chariot, but we remember the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We will remember the name of the Lord. Horses and chariot cannot save us. The sword cannot save us. No weapon can save us. It's only the Lord. And when the Lord set his angels to encamp around us, we are safe. And he went on to say, Fear the oh fear the Lord, ye saints, fear the Lord. And he went on to say, For there is no want to them that fear him. If we fear the Lord, there is no want we won't want anything. Despite the fact that you know, when we, everyone's calling, I mean, so many people are striking now. You have the nurses striking, the teachers striking, the, five, uh, the, uh, the trainers striking. Everyone's striking now because they, they are not satisfied with, you know, with the way the cost of living is and how things are going and, you know, the, the wages are, are not moving and everything else is moving up and up. The Bible says, fear the Lord. He is saints, he is saints of God. He says, there shall be no want. We shall not want. There, for there is no want to them that fear him. We shall not want. David said it in Psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. How wonderful is that? That if we love the Lord, as saints and children of God, as we love the Lord, we shall not want. They can hike the prices way up into the sky. 
they can hike the prices of whatever we use, the commodities and the shops and the fuel and the petrol station and, and we, they can hike everything they want, any way they want, as high as they want. The Bible says, if we fear God, we shall not want. And I believe this. They can hike, and they can hike the prices as much as they like. But they said, Oh, fear the Lord, he says, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lion, imagine the lion is the king of the jungle. The young lion do lack and suffer hunger. The lion being the king of the jungle, and he can prey on anything. He, has, he can prey on anything because I see lion take down even big buffalo cows and things like that. Lion are very powerful animal, animals, skillful animals. But they can, they can have, make prey of anything they want. But the Bible says the young lion, even though they can make anything they prey, they suffer hunger. They are there in the jungle and they, have, they, are, they master the jungle, but they suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want, and hallelujah, any good thing. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that great? And how blessed are we how blessed are we isn't that great come ye children hearken unto me and I will teach you the fear of the Lord come ye children hearken unto me and I will teach you the fear of the Lord hearken unto me and I will teach you I will teach you to fear God. I will teach you to praise God. I will teach you to be thankful unto the Lord. I will teach you to love the Lord. I will teach you to serve the Lord. I will teach you to honor the Lord. Come ye children, hearken, listen to me, and I will teach you how to praise God. I will teach you. What man is he that desired life? and love it many days that he may see good. What man is he that desired life? Every man desired life. Every man love it many days. Every man want the day that they can see good. What man is he that desired life? Every man desired life. Every man love many days. And sometimes people are struggling in life. People are out there struggling, but even though they're struggling, they love to live, they want to live. No one wants to die. What man is he that desired life and loveth many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil. Keep your tongue from evil. The thing, whatever things are lovely, think of those things. Whatever things are lovely, speak of those things. Whatever things are, are, are godly, speak of those things. Keep your tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Be truthful, be honest, be loving, be understanding, be merciful, be patient, be kind. And the Spirit of God will dwell with us. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Seek peace. Follow peace. Blessed are the peacemakers. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous. Verse 15, Psalm 20, 34, verse 16. The eyes of the Lord is upon the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. My brothers, my sisters, ladies and gentlemen, the eyes of the Lord is upon, upon you. The eyes of the Lord is upon you. It's upon me. The eyes of the Lord God is everywhere. God is the Lord Jesus. But through the Holy Ghost, He being the Holy Ghost, He's present everywhere. He fills every corner of this world. Jesus. He's never, He's only a, a breath away. You call upon Him, He hear. It doesn't matter where we are. David said to David, when David realized the omnipresence of God, when David 
understand because God revealed himself to David because David was a humble man of God and that's why David wrote so many Psalms David was not only, not only a humble man but he was a, a God he had the heart of love humbleness and love was in David's heart that's why God chose David to be king over Israel in the place of Saul the eyes of the Lord is upon the righteous David said where can I flee from thy presence? That is a question. Where can we flee from the presence of God? Where can we go to hide from God? That's what the question David asked. Where can I flee from thy presence? If I take the wing of the morning and dwell in the uttermost part of the sea, even there. If I make my bed in hell, even there, we we cannot we we have to understand because David understood because God revealed Himself to David, and that's why David could write these powerful psalms. Because when we humble ourselves before God, when we open our heart before God, God instills in us understanding. God instills in us wisdom. God opens His Word to us and give us understanding of who he is and then we build a relationship with God the eyes of the Lord is upon the righteous his ears are open unto their cry hallelujah can you imagine how great it is how wonderful it is how blessed we are oh praise the name of the Lord the face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the hallelujah members of the earth. So sometimes when we see wicked people, sometimes we say, mm, "Boy, this man is so wicked." This man, and we know we know quite a few wicked people in this world today. We know a few of them. We could call them by their name. We know who they are. Those people who believe that there's too many people on the earth, and they think they have they should depopulate the earth because there's too many people on the earth. Who gave them that power? Who gave them that authority? Who gave them that unction that they can say or do things like that? And they would if they could destroy many people on the earth. There are people like that, but the Bible says the face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them of the earth to, to put them away for good because the face of the Lord is against evil so when we see these evil men doing all these evil things just leave them to God just leave them to God because the face of the Lord is against them to cut off their remembrance and sometimes we say well you know some of some people like that have, have really committed themselves to the devil. They've already committed themselves to the devil. There's nothing we can do. And I uh, think about Judas. Judas who betrayed Jesus. He he did something that he should not have done, but it was prophesied that he would betray the Lord, and he did. And we see what happened to him. The devil deceived Judas. And Judas betrayed our Lord. And we see when he once he realized what he has done, he did nothing but go and hang himself. The clay was cut off. He was cut off from the earth because he was evil. He allowed the devil to deceive him and betray our Lord Jesus Christ, the great God, the righteous one the sinless one, the Holy One of Israel. He betrayed the Holy One of Israel and he went and hung himself. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry and the Lord hear and deliver them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are broken heart, and save it thou, such as of a contrite spirit. You see, whenever we are in a state that we are really sorrowful and we are broken up, and you know, we may be so broken that we cannot even talk, because from time to time we reach a stage like that when 
we are overwhelmed, overwhelmed with sorrows. We are overwhelmed with pain and sorrows and we are saddened and our heart is broken and we are contrite. Our, we are, our spirit is broken altogether. The Bible says the Lord is nigh unto them. We may think that we're all alone. And some of these times in these instances when we feel so broken down, when we feel that our spirit is gone and we have no spirit, the Bible says the Lord is nigh unto them. The Lord is near to you when your heart is broken. When your heart is, when your spirit is contrite, when your spirit is broken, when you can maybe can't even pray, the Lord is nigh, the Lord is there. Call upon him, say, Lord, see my sorrow. See my pain. See, oh God, how I'm broken. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save as such. Hallelujah. That of a contrite spirit. Many. Now, this is a very good word. It's verse 19, Psalm 34, verse 19. Many are the affliction of the righteous. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord deliver them, him out of them all. Because if we think about, if we look at David and you know what David went through in his life, you, this is not, this is, uh, this is, David is speaking from experience when he says, many are the affliction of the righteous because he was righteous. D David was a righteous man. I know he he made a mistake and he transgressed against God and he repented, but he was many, was the affliction. His affliction were many. When Saul realized that the anointing of God was upon David, Saul tried everything to kill David. Everything. He was the king, remember? He was the king of Israel. But God rejected him because he disobeyed God. But when you see that the presence of God was with David and the Spirit of God has moved away from him, he tried everything to kill David. Many were the affliction of David. Many. But he says the Lord delivered him out of them all. But in David's problem, David, God provided him Jonathan, which was Saul's son, to help him. So God will always provide someone. God will always provide someone. God provided um, Jonathan, which was um, Saul's son. And he helped David many times to, ex to escape the affliction that Saul wanted to put upon him. The Lord deliver them out of them all. He keepeth all his bones and not one of them is broken. He'll keep our bones, brethren. The Lord will keep our bones and not one, not one of our bones shall be broken. Evil shall slay the wicked and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. And this was a prophecy when it says none of these bones shall be broken because if we know the whole story when Jesus, when they took Jesus down from the cross, and when they took the, when they take them down from the cross, most of the time they're not dead. And what they would have, what they normally do when they uh, when they take the people from the cross after they take them down from the cross, if they're not dead, they normally break their bones to make sure that they die. But when Jesus came down from the cross. They did not break his bone because he was already given up the ghost. He had already given up the ghost, so they didn't. There was no need for them to break his bones. So this was a prophecy. Not one of his bones was broken. Amen. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemed the soul of his servant, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. None of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Evil shall slay the wicked. Hallelujah. But none, none, none of us, none of us who trust in the Lord, the Lord will be desolate. And every one of us that trust in the Lord, the, no matter what the devil throw at us, according to the word of God, and this is David by experience, God will deliver you. 
deliver us out of all our troubles. Many are the affliction of the righteous. Many things will go through in this life. Many things. But the Lord, the Lord will deliver us. Fear not. Fear not, people of God. Trust in the Lord at all times. Lean not on your own understanding. Praise the name of the Lord. I stop here. God bless you all. Thank you all for joining. I see Pastor Winston. Um, Cousin Nini. Cousin Hello. God bless you. God bless you too. Yeah. Give us a testimony before we close and a short testimony for us. Oh, and I want to thank God for keeping us alive. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. God bless you, cousin. Nina. God bless you. Um, um, I see Brother Delion there. God bless you, Delion, my son. Um, Pastor, how are you, Brother Delion? I'm doing well. Thank Can you, thanks for asking. you want to give us a short testimony of what the Lord has done for you before we turn over to Pastor Winston? I guess I can give you something that, that's been on my mind. I've been, uh, that, I think God putting it on my heart or something. But um, I'm just going to say it because it's, it's in me right now. Yeah. I was thinking about um, how God, how Christ, how the Messiah came, came here. Yeah. And how he was born in a, in a manger. Yeah. And he was, um, he, he, he grew up, um, not a wealthy person, he grew up poor all his life, and and how he was beaten, yeah, and um, beaten like a slave, yes, and stripped and humiliated and mocked, yes, and they and nailed him in his hand and feet before upon a cross yes. and then finally pierced his heart to make sure that he was dead. Yes. And he he was the son of God. Yes. And that's how he came here. And he was so humble and he lived his life so humble. And he had the Holy Spirit inside of him. He had the power of the whole heavens with him so much that he rose again yes. from the grave. The grave. He raised the dead back to life. He healed the sick and gave sight to the blind. That's right. And uh, I'm just seeing that it's not, it's not about, it's not about the, the glamour and the glory. It's about righteousness and being true to yeah. God. Yeah. And the unconditional love that's God for us. That's my few words. Amen. 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 God bless you, Delion. God bless you. Thank God for you, my son. God bless you. Um, yeah, I. What you say is right. The, the love of God was so great, and that's why I say it's amazing. It's amazing how God actually, 
you, when we think about it, you know, we see Jesus and we see many people think Jesus is just another man, but Jesus is not a man, another man. Jesus was God putting on flesh. And what he came down from heaven. Imagine you think about Prince, Prince, whatever king or queen or whatever we have in this world, how highly they think. But he was above all. He was above all. And he came down, made himself, uh, put on man, sinful, put on the garment like he dressed as a man to save us. It is so wonderful. It is so awesome. And what he went through for us. What more can Jesus do? He can't do any more. And when we realize that our oh, God loves us so much, we should serve him, we should worship him, we should glorify him. We should, you know, we should have time to just give him praise and glory because he's worthy. He's so worthy. And then not only that, but he promised that he will be with us unto the end of this world. Praise the Lord. God bless you, young Delhi, and God bless you. Continue to trust in the Lord and praise the Lord, and God will bless you. God have great thing. God have great thing in store for you, and God has great thing in store for every one of His children. Amen. God bless you. Um, God bless you. I see. Um, God bless everyone. Um, Sister P.T., Sister Brina. God bless you, and everyone else. Pastor Winston is there, but I think his mic is off. I may leave him. God bless you. Um, wish everyone have a blessed week. Continue to trust in the Lord. Everyone that if they that trust in the Lord will not be ashamed, and will not be desolate, and will not be in want, and will not be in need, and will not need to fear. Just just continue to praise Him, for He's worthy. He is worthy. God bless you all. And um, have a great week. May the Lord bless you. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers today. And may God bless and keep you, guide and protect you. Amen. In Jesus' name. God bless you, Sister Brina, Sister P.T., everyone. Brother Delion, Pastor Winston, God bless you all. Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you thanks for all of your children that are gathered tonight in this teleconference. I pray your blessing will be upon us all. I pray, Lord, those that are bereaved, Lord, I pray that you comfort them, Lord Jesus. I pray your hand will be upon them, Lord God. I pray that you'll comfort them, Lord Jesus, in time of their bereavement. Lord, take full control of every one of your children, Lord. Help us, Lord, that our minds will be focused and staying upon you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercies and all the loved ones, Lord God. I pray our loved ones that they may be blessed, that they may be saved. Continue to bless, keep, guide, and protect us. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you glory. In the name of Jesus, that which we fail to ask, Lord, fail not to grant unto us. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we say amen and amen. 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 God bless you all, my brothers and sisters. Have a blessed week. May the Lord bless and keep you. God bless you. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you. God bless you all. Bless you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah.